Hello, Expand Dog. How you doing, dude? Okay, I have a very special update. I don't usually get to um to talk about DSP, but I get to talk about DSP today. Because usually the, the issue with Dark Side Phil is that he's like so um you, you have he's one of those people that you just have to be in like in the know with and rarely does anything happen with him where it's like, oh that's really funny. It's like a random person. Um this is pretty funny actually. This is Dark Side Phil. He has a three hundred dollar what they call a uh, fight fighting stick. It's a it's a special tournament quality import controller. That's like an arcade uh, joystick and buttons, just like on old fighting arcade cabinets. And it's made with the best materials and it has the lowest latency for inputs and shit. Uh, has the fewest dropped inputs. So this is what people use when they, they play the game seriously. Dark Side Phil sprung for one. Uh, said he loved it when he first got it. And then... Um, uh, and then broke it. That's the word I was looking for. So <laughs> he broke it. Let's be clear. That's what happened. Let's listen to him break some shit. You ready? So this sucks ass. But why the fuck did they do it this way? Besides, they're morons, and they didn't test to see if another brand's joystick would fit inside the combo base, right? I mean, why would they? Why would they want other joysticks to fit inside their their controller? I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know the, the absolute distinction here. It appears that he's pulled out, like, a 36-tool Swiss Army knife and is just, like, gutting this controller live on stream. Um, this is his podcast, by the way. He has, like, several different podcasts and shows. Um, I spoke to a guy. I guess I could say this. Um, I spoke to the guy that did the the documentary on Boogie and then the documentary on Dark Side Phil because he wanted to talk to me. And it's been so long now. I think that documentary is dead. Um, but he wanted to talk to me because I'm someone who has a perspective of having been around Dark Side Phil antics for, for like, a decade, but I have no interest in them. And he wanted like a really n neutral perspective on Dark Side Phil, which I guess is, uh, and, and like the A logs, which I guess is, I come closer to that than a lot of other people. Um, and we spoke for about like an hour or two about Dark Side Phil and the A logs and stuff. Um, and his thing was because he had met Phil in person and he had met his wife, Kat, in person, and they had hung out for a while. And he said, um, I said something about Phil being lazy, and he made a point to immediately correct me and say dark side phil is not lazy dark side phil puts in obscene amounts of work into his shit and he streams on this like he was like when they were talking about scheduling he would never reschedule a stream it was like i, I have to stream that day i stream for eight hours or four hours here and four hours here i do my podcast like that he were he were, did not allow me to call phil lazy and it was just sort of like, I think his perspective was that, and I, I'm not, not trying to paraphrase him here, this is just my interpretation. The dark side Phil is someone who puts in a lot of work, but in like the wrong direction. It's like you have a car stuck in mud, kind of, where it's like the wheels are spinning, there's gas being burned, the engine's roaring, but you're... um not getting anywhere and that, that i feel like that's that was his impression about dark side phil's business at business strategy um because he does do a lot of shit he streams for like hours and hours and does podcasts and like like time stamps his own i don't even time stamp my own fucking podcast i like i let people in the archives leave comments to time stamp my fucking videos uh dark side phil does his own time stamps and everything so he's he's putting in the effort he's just not very good at it you know what i mean I can believe that. I can. I trust his interpretation on that. Um. Anyways, that's him fucking around the background of this. Uh, he starts yelling about the company. Trust me, guys. If I had the money, I would get it right now. If I had the money, I would literally buy another stick right now. That's PC PS5 compatible. But you know, I'm not made of money. I just don't have it. Oh, because he's broke. Um. I guess I'll just say no. Actually, the other clip say it for me. I'll let him say it. It's, good. it's funny that way. Oh, this button's already f fucked up again. It's already stuck. Oh my god, what a nightmare this is gonna be. My light kick's not gonna work. Nope. Fuck these idiots. Fuck Kanba. You fucking pieces of shit. 
you fucked me on your shitty ass three hundred dollar rip off joystick where I can't put any stick I want in it because you designed it poorly because you're a bunch of fucking idiots. You fucking losers. You scam artists. I can't believe you fucked me like this. So I can't use this. This joystick's fucked up now. I love that line. Like, the, the sincerity and the anger. Like, this soft anger, not the yelling anger. Just the, you fucked me on this. That's perfect. That's uh, Kino, as they might say. Now, this is his original view of it, where he says he loves it. He's like, so excited for it. The best joystick he's ever owned, etc. So, thanks, Rare Tricks, for the last Super Chat. And I received $1 tip so far today. Wow, this has been a great podcast, huh? Just everything's going my way today. <laughs> How could possibly things go any better for me today, right? $1. I think, actually, if I go to his channel... Let me just do this real quick, see if I can get away with this. You know how things are with me. Might always just break in my hand. DSP Gaming. Um, podcast. And then the level one podcast. Here we go. Processing this video, it says. That's okay. So this is episode 377. That's really, that's crazy. 377. He must do that like every day, I think. And then he streams for an hour and a half of just this podcast. So he streamed for an hour and a half. So that is 90 Hello, minutes. Everyone. Real life Dumas here. And welcome. 90 minutes. Divide 100 by 90. And you would get a little more than a penny. This is how I used to think about things when I was in Whataburger. If I um, cause I I made, I made nine, nine and a half dollars an hour. So if I looked at anything, I would be I would be like measuring it in minutes. Like I knew exactly how many like cents per minute I made. So if I bought food, if I paid my car insurance or whatever, I'm just thinking like, yeah, that's six hours. That's 40 minutes. That's 40 minutes of fries to buy that. You got to think about this in DSP hours. <laughs> he makes less than one penny a minute. <laughs> That's less than one penny a minute <laughs> on some streams. So when he has to pay all those taxes and all those grocery bills and all this shit he's got to pay for, he's measuring it at one penny a minute. Uh, this is a... Three hundred dollar fighting stick. That's thirty thousand minutes. <laughs> That's thirty thousand minutes of streaming. <laughs> I gotta do. Is that right? No. Yeah, it is right. Right. Yeah. Three thirty thousand minutes. Thirty thousand minutes at one dollar for ninety for an hour and a half. That's rough. And you can just tell by the way he talks. He hates. He hates booting up that fucking webcam and talking about video games. He hates this shit. <laughs> Good, it drops stuff. Yep, that's not good at all. Couldn't get a standard combo. He has been complaining about online lag and dropped inputs for like 16 fucking years now. I want to say that the original DSP Rage videos on, on YouTube, if you go out and you find like DSP Rage Street Fighter, it's the same fucking shit. It's him talking about online lag, online combos. Oh my god, I'm getting nostalgia now. Hold up. DSP online. Wait, it's like DSP gets... Gets... Oh, double perfect. That's it. It's the double perfect one. Oh, this guy. Oh, this is the video. 14 years ago. Wow, what a great opponent I have for my final match of the night. Wonder Waffle 407. Oh, I forgot about this. He, he um, he's playing. He's the guy in the blue. Uh, the big guy, the brawny guy, is Darkside Phil. Um, 
but the bison guy is Wonder Waffle, the guy that's trolling him. And this first round, he just like throws, like he's playing really bad. He's horrible. Yeah, see, even Darkseid feels like he's just letting me win. He is terrible. <laughs> Absolutely awful. I love it. I'm Absolutely awful. Only Only shitty may apply. Dude, he hasn't changed in 14 fucking years. He says the exact same shit. And this is the great part. Okay, so he loses that first round. This is an ancient video. I was pressing buttons. That's such a classic. <laughs> I'm pressing. I was pressing buttons. Is the um, uh, is the look here? Listen for Dark Side Phil. It's it's just like the ubiquitous like a log meme that they all come back to even 14 fucking years later. I was pressing buttons. I'm pressing. I was actually trying to throw, so I didn't get a tech and I didn't get a fucking throw. I got nothing. <laughs> The entire round was because I couldn't fucking do any moves online. Wow, dude. He can get one legitimate hit. Can't block. Tried to block, he jumped back. Look at this, I can't do anything. I'm not doing anything, I'm just getting hit. I, okay, I don't know anything about fighting games, but um, the way that, like... He's he's complaining that he's getting countered despite not doing anything. And I've had this explained to me from people that play fighting games. He's very obviously trying to do like basic attacks that are getting predicted and countered perfectly in this fight. So when he's sitting there and he's saying like, I'm not doing anything, why am I getting countered? He's just lying out of his fucking ass. Like he's actively trying to fight back against this guy and getting countered just like at like a mathematical level. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> nothing half that time and still got hit i was holding back the block he's jumping i try to fucking do nothing he does stuff unbelievable double perfect this is online play this is what you want to see this is amazing the level of quality of this online play now it's funny how the first round i beat his ass and all of a sudden the second and third rounds none of my moves happen or work no blocking no special attack it doesn't even occur to him that the guy's just fucking with him the first i love it so much i love it so much and he hasn't changed he's still complaining about the exact same fucking shit that wasn't even close to being a normal podcast show uh we have like pretty much no shout outs to do because no one contributed because i was messing around with the joystick uh, please support the streams today. Ah, this sorry. is my final consecutive streaming day of the week. Yes, we are actually doing Elden Ring now. Um, that's what I'm playing today, not Street Fighter VI. Uh, <laughs> Angie, you didn't give me enough money. Let's get set up, everybody. Um, now, guys, I know this was very weird. All right, please support the stream. Typically, I would have had a lot more things to do to shout out there on the podcast, but because I was messing with the joystick, basically, we got next to no contributions. That sucks. It's not always good to get a good head start. Um, please support the stream today. You know the deal. I try to raise 50 bucks in tips every stream. Anything above that is greatly appreciated. Um, super chats, memberships, gifted memberships, tips, all great. Anything uh, to contribute for my final day of the week is, uh, is great. So basically... I mean, fifty dollars a, a um for ninety minutes. How much is that? It's like thirty dollars an hour, there about. No, forty five. Forty five. Ninety divided by. No, it's not even. It's thirty. Close to thirty. Sorry, I, I, <laughs> the heat is frying my brain like an egg. <laughs> not that much, especially not where he lives in in Seattle. It's probably like median for for the U.S. I don't know, man. It doesn't seem worth it. He really just seems to hate like video games and playing video games. I know I like if I hated running the forum and doing the podcast, I just fucking wouldn't do it. I can't imagine like especially for like that that amount of money, you know? It's like I guess the convenience is that you get to stay inside your house, but how much money is it worth it to deal with so much, to do a job, especially a job that doesn't progress you, you know what I mean? Like, there are certain, some jobs where there's, like, career opportunities, and people, especially, like, people, like, in middle management, they have, like, this grind set where it's, like, if I do 10 years or whatever, eventually I can re I can uh, go up, or at 20 I can retire, 
with my pension or whatever. Um, with his game shit, it's like he has nowhere to go. Like, he's already peaked. He'll never be that good again. He hates his job. He hates his fans. He's already, like, known as, like, the biggest fucking asshole ever. Um, like, th- his lucky break ain't coming. So it's a little bit crazy that um, he sticks through with it. I guess it's, like, all he knows at this point. He doesn't want to go back to I feel like maybe he thinks that, like, people... If he, um... If he quits, then, like, people will win. You know what I mean? Like, the A-logs win. So he just, like, even though he hates it, he, um, he stays through with it.